I'm Ali. Today I want to talk about Valid Palindrome 2. This problem has been mostly asked by Facebook. So, in order to solve this problem, let's first read it together and understand it. The question says, given a non-empty string s, and we also can delete at most one character, we should judge whether that string is a palindrome or we can make it palindrome. So first, let's talk about a palindrome string. A palindrome string is a string that reads the same from both di directions. For example, if ABA is my, strings, my string, you can see that if I read that forward, it is ABA, and if I read that backward, it is also ABA. So this is a palindrome string. But consider another uh, string, for example, AFCA. Forward, it is AFCA, and backward, it is ACFA. So it's not a palindrome. Now, let's take a look at several examples. So the first example is ACCA forward and backward ACCA. So it is already a palindrome string. The second example is ACDGA forward and AGDCA backward. So it's not palindrome. But we should see that can we make it palindrome by uh, deleting at most one character or not. So the uh, palindrome string or substring in this string is ACA. And we cannot make any other uh, palindrome, palindromic string or substring with this string. So by deleting one character, for example, D or G, we cannot make it palindrome. So the answer is false. Let's take uh, this example. It is forward a, B, C, D, B, A, and backward A, B, D, C, B, A. So, as you can see here, these two characters are extra in order to make it a palindrome. But we can just delete one character. So it is, again, it's not a palindrome and we cannot make it palindrome by deleting one character. But let's take a look at this example. A, C, D, a. If I read that forward, it is ACDA and backward ADCA. But as you can see, if I delete this character, it will be a palindrome. So the answer is yes. So I hope you understood the question uh, in more detail details. Uh, and on the and the next section, we will talk about the suitable algorithm to solve this uh, problem with. The suitable algorithm for this problem works in this way. Consider I have a pointer here at the beginning of this string and I call it str, which means start. And I have also another pointer at the end of the string, which is called end. At this, uh, each level of this algorithm, I just check the two characters uh, that start and end pointers are pointing to. And if they are equal, I will move str forward and end backward and check uh, other characters. So I check one character from the beginning with another character from the end, one by one. And if they are equal, it means I have a palindrome. And if they are not, I should uh, consider and analyze those strings to see whether they would be palindrome by uh, deleting one character or not. So let's do this now. At this level, start pointing to A and A end also pointing to A. So these two characters are equal. I will move str forward by one and end backward also by one. So now I have here B and here B and they are equal. So again, I move str forward and end backward. And now I have C and B. 
So this is the point of discussion here. And we should analyze this substring to see it could be a palindrome or not. I will write this uh, string here because I don't want to make there so crowded. So the string is CDDCB. And now we are here. Our STR is here and our end is here. And they are not equal. So what do I want to do is to delete each of these characters and see whether the remain character is palindrome or not. So first I just delete B and the new string or substring would be C D D C. And in another version I just delete C where my str is pointing to and the remained substring would be D D C B. And now I should analyze these two substrings. So first let's analyze this. So str is here and end is here. Start character pointing to uh, D and end is pointing to B. So they are not equal. Again we have to apply this method. So if I delete this one that would be this string would be ddc which is not palindrome and if I remove this one and keep this one let's erase that uh, the substring would be dcb so it's not palindrome at all so this is not what we were looking for now consider here we have cc so they are equal I move this forward and move this backward and we have DD so this is a palindrome. Now we can say that by deleting this character from the string you know this B this whole string will be a palindrome as you can see A B C D D C B A and if I uh, read it backward it is A B C D, D, C, B, A. So now it's a palindrome. I hope you got this uh, algorithm. It is so easy if you uh, understand the main point of this algorithm. And uh, on the next section, I will talk about the suitable code to implement this algorithm. To implement the algorithm, we need two Boolean functions. One is called is palindrome and the other is valid palindrome. I, I first go through the valid pal palindrome function. This function takes uh, a string called s and then I assigned start to 0 and end to length minus 1. So this means that start po pointer is here and end is here. Then we have a while loop that is the main part of uh, the implementation of this algorithm. The condition of the while is while start is lower than end, which means while these two uh, pointers are not collided with each other. So then what, what we do is we check the characters at start and end. And if they are equal, for example here, we check uh, a with A and because they are equal we uh, move start by one forward so the new start will be here I mean the pointer would be here and also move end by one backward so end would be here this is in case uh, the characters are the same so we just go through the whole string uh, in this way. But if the characters are not the same, for example, consider this was A and this was C, what should we do? We should use the is palindrome function that we have here. So I wrote that if is palindrome in a string S, uh, because you know 
each palindrome takes three parameters, a string s, start, and end. So if each palindrome in string s from start plus one to end, uh, which means uh, consider, for example, here, because till here all start and end are the same, so consider we are here. Start is here, and uh, end is here. These two characters are not the same, so we should check this statement. Is palindrome is the function, so we check start plus one to end. We want to check uh, from this part of the string to the end because this is the point of discussion that we should consider and analyze uh, if uh, we can change it into a palindrome or not by deleting one character so in first uh, function call I passed start plus one and end so it means I want to check start plus one which is here to end of the string which would be the substring and on the next call uh, I called start let me erase them uh, I passed start till end minus one end minus one is here as you can see end minus one and I want to analyze this substring now and if one of those is palindrome because here we have or uh, then we return true and that means the whole string uh, is palindrome or better to say made palindrome by deleting one character and if uh, this statement is not true this condition is not true then we return false and that means the string wasn't uh, palindrome and after this while loop we returned true because uh, if in this while loop we didn't return false so that means the um, the whole string is a palindrome now let's take a look uh, to is palindrome function it's uh, you know it's kind of the same to the valid palindrome function again we have a while loop uh, so while start is lower than end we check if characters at start and end are not equal we return false because remember we are uh, now I mean in is palindrome we are checking the part of the string or the substring that made the problem the substring that the start and end wasn't equal so we are checking that so that's why we return false and if uh, this condition uh, hasn't been made so we again start uh, I mean we again move start by one forward and move end by one backward and at the end of this while loop if we didn't return false which means that all the characters uh, were the same so we return true and that means the string is palindrome uh, so now let's check this code and submit this code in leadcode.com. So I just paste it here and let's first run it. So it is accepted and now I submit for the analysis. Uh, so it's been accepted. Uh, now let's talk about the space and time complexity of this code. Uh, the space complexity uh, of this code is an order of one because we do not um, we do not save anything on the memory, any array or so. And uh, the time complexity is an order of n because we just iterate through the start and end and so we iterate through the whole string characters one by one
hope this video helped you to understand this important interview problem. Also, if you like this video, please consider subscribing and sharing it with your friends so we can help more software engineers to be prepared for their interviews.